Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter, and today I'm gonna to show you in Design Space how to make these little ornament shakers. So they're super cute. Um, I've got foam on the inside, name on the front. I've got two of them, so I'll go over how to make both. Oh, oh no, okay, I thought, I thought my shaker was falling apart, but it wasn't, okay, there we go. How stinking cute are these two? So they're both shakers. Uh, we've got confetti. Well, actually, not really. Um, we have sprinkles on the inside. And they're just so... Wait, sorry. I keep moving. There. So stinking cute. Okay. Super easy to do. Let me make my face smaller. I only did that so that you can really see <laughs> what was going on there. Okay. If you haven't subscribed already, please do. I would totally appreciate the support. Let's get going. This is so fun and cute. I um. I can't tell you how much I enjoyed doing this one. And it came out just, you know, there's something for me about Christmas with the colors pink and white. Like it just, and it's the soft baby pink, um, just does it for me. Anyway, first thing is font. The font is from Creative Fabrica. The link is in my uh, description. It is the Ashley Marie font. I absolutely love it. I love that each letter gets spread out. It's thin, but if uh, one of the things that I really like about it is that the edges, the glyphs, um, they remain the same width, so you don't get super, super intricate. It's the same, um, you know, width throughout the whole font. <coughs> Ooh, and so, um, you know, it's just it's been easy to work with, even on very small, um, small items. So, all right, um, link is in my profile or in the description. You, you can try out the membership just to see uh, for the first month, the first 10 downloads, I believe. And it's, um, what is it, a dollar for two weeks? So give it a shot. All right, I love it, so I have the membership. Let's go to Design Space, all right. Here is the image that is also in the description. It is um, an ornament, and here is the um, the file number M four one F C nine six four zero. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you though. So this is basically I'm going to walk you through it, and then I'll show you how to do it. Um, the first one that you saw. First of all, this is the image. So what you wanna do is, you wanna make it as big as you wanna make it. In this case, I did 3.94 by 4.88. It, it is shocking to me that I landed on this random number. <laughs> I eyeballed it. Okay, so I landed on this number, and then what I did was I used Barely Arts Foamies, Cubies. And so I used the quarter inch, which is a quarter inch foam, it's surprising to me how thick it is. I mean, duh, I know it's a quarter of an inch. That's the same measurement no matter whether I'm <laughs> measuring foam or I'm measuring paper or I'm measuring fabric. I get it, but I don't because for whatever reason, it just feels so much thicker. Um, but anyway, so I use that for the foam to build up the wall that will contain the confetti. So, or the sprinkles in this case. So what is nice is it was exactly two strips of foam. So it was perfect. So if you want to mimic this, it's 3.94 by 4.88. It literally is picture perfect for two foam, foam strips. All right, so what you're gonna wanna do is you want to duplicate this. So once you have it, duplicate it. Go to contour. We're gonna hide everything. The reason why you wanna do this is so that you have your back layer. Your back layer needs to be completely filled in so that we can actually put the sprinkles in, right? But what you want to keep though is this little circle because you wanna be able to thread through all the different layers. So let's do this. So this right here, one color is going to be your acetate layer because that's gonna go uh, right behind this one because all of this is open. So this is your acetate, you're gonna duplicate it. This is your bottom layer. Your bottom layer, I did the two. If you wanna look at my blog post on the uselesscrafter.com, you can probably see pictures there or on Instagram. Um, one, I did a pale pink, 
And then the other one, I did like a printed, it was from a sampler cardstock package from Michaels. So it's got, um, it's like light pink and purple, a uh, like little ombre with a, some, like a little pattern. I, I love both. I, I didn't want it to be distracting, so I didn't want like a print print, like a Christmas print, but I absolutely love both. So anyway, you need a back layer, okay? So let's walk through this. You need a back layer. We're gonna put foam on the edge, put sprinkles on the inside, put your acetate layer on top, and then put your final one on top top. So let me arrange, send to the front. That's literally it. Now, um, what I did have was I had a tiny offset so that I had a little bit of gold just peeking through on the outside. So the way you wanna do that is you're gonna grab, it doesn't matter what you grab, okay? But grabbing this one might be easiest. Um, let's do an offset. I did an offset of 0 0.05, so we're gonna do 0 0.05. Hit the tab key so it updates. You see, it's a super, super thin offset. I wanted this thing to be delicate. These snowflakes right here, this ornament is all one piece. I did it in white glitter cardstock. It cut beautifully at this size, uh, but it's, you know, it, it feels delicate. And so I absolutely love it. I want to keep the delicate feel with a very thin offset. So 0 0.05 it is, we're going to apply, and that one is gold. Okay, so you can see that thinness, right? Um, and that's it. Now, I'm going to get rid of all these layers. And I'm only going to keep this one. Because if you want to bring in other items like this penguin, hold on, let me grab all this and group it. <clears throat> you will use this for your size reference, right? Do you want your penguin to be this big? No, because then you can't see your snowflake or the confetti, right? So let me undo it so I can give you my actual size on this. So I did it, the height or no, the width is 1.75 inches. And on the one that I did, I had him actually, I didn't put him inside the ornament, I put him on top of the ornament with foamies, so it kind of popped out a little bit. I personally, I love it. He's on the side like this and he's got a pink hat, a darker pink, still kind of on the light side, a dark pink hat and a pink scarf to match. The reason why this white I turned it gray is because this white, when I went to the cutting mat, is gonna be white glitter cardstock. So this dark gray is gonna be just regular white cardstock, plain white cardstock. All right, so that's how I did that. Same thing with the name. This is the name right here, arrange, send to the front. If you wanna do the name, do your name and then size it accordingly, okay? So let's go to the text. Texas Marie font, and I'm gonna type in Sarah. What you wanna make sure you do is you go to combine and you wanna weld it. Otherwise, each letter is gonna cut out. Um, it'll all be together, but you'll see cut lines between the, for the S, for the A, the R, and the A, and you don't want that. You want one continuous name. So we're gonna size this accordingly. Oh my God, seriously, <laughs> you saw that, right? It's like um, magic. Uh, okay, so I did same thing on here, 0 0.05, I applied it. That's my first layer. I did three layers on this. And then I'm gonna do another offset. Now, the other thing that I did was I cut three, three copies of each layer. And the reason why I did that is this is so thin that I'm not gonna be able to put any foam behind it. It would be so difficult to try to layer this with depth. So the only way that I can easily do it is if I did three copies of it or, um, yeah, three copies of it and basically stacked it up on top of each other, it still won't be thick like foam, right? But when you have three layers of cardstock sitting on top of each other and three layers of each color, then you get, I, I know you won't be able to see, 
but you will get just a little bit more depth than you would just a flat three, you know, uh, three layers. So that's what I did. I did pink, gold, and then my biggest layer was white in the back. Um, I absolutely love it. Now the backmost layer, this is thick enough to put foam tape, foam squares behind it so that it sits on top of the ornament even a little bit further. So I have the penguin and you kind of see like it's thick, right? And then you've got the name. So both kind of, you can see that they are not like flat projects. Um, that's all that there is to it. There's there's a hole so that you can stick your ribbon through and this could be your gift tag. If you don't do the name, like I did this one with just the penguin, which I think is so cute, you can write a note on the back. This is all just regular paper that you can write a note, you can write to and from, Merry Christmas, all that good stuff. Um, or you can fit, you know, the other thing that I think would be really, really cute is in a different font, um, have it inside the ornament um, with the with the sprinkles going around it because there is space up here for a little something. Um, yeah, I think I would have liked that. But um, pictures will be available. I'm so stoked on this. It's so stinking cute. I think I'm gonna do a few more. I think people are really gonna enjoy seeing this. And you know, there's something about cardstock projects, like when you get something all layered, it's so pretty and it you can't buy it. So I absolutely, um, I think they're gonna be adored. So anyway, comments, questions, please post them below. I'm super excited about this project. Please tag me if you do it. Um, I would love to see it. Just like when you guys did the wreath uh, with me, oh my gosh, I love seeing all the different variations it just, it totally made my day. I, I gives me purpose <laughs> that I'm doing these tutorials. You guys are actually listening and doing them. It's amazing. So, all right. Thank you. Have a great holiday season. If I don't speak to you in some way or another, um, I know it's just the beginning of December, but I know it's going to go by quickly with all these projects. Bye.